and welcome back to my channel. I'm Letty, this is Letty Sparkle. So I just totally remembered while I was cooking dinner that I forgot to film an intro for today's video. So if you want to see how I got this look, which is all using um, drugstore products, then please just keep watching. Thank you, bye bye. I'll be in a different top because I just swapped it because I was cooking meatballs and I didn't want red sauce all over me. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you, bye bye. For today's foundation, I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. This is really nice. Um, this is my like kind of go-to. I don't know if I've got much left of this. This is kind of my go-to drugstore foundation. It's proper full coverage. And I've not used it on my channel for a long time. So I thought with this video, it'd be perfect. I've already primed my skin as well. That's all done. So I'm not doing anything Major today, just a school run as normal. <laughs> right, before I get on and film this today. So I'm not gonna have much time to film much this week, so. I've been kind of thinking about subscribing to Birchbox again, but I kind of feel like every time I do, I'm disappointed. So <laughs> if anyone has any like other like subscription boxes that you subscribe to, that you really like, that are similar to Glossy Box, because I quite like Glossy Box then please let me know. I'd love to try them. So, like it could go in with another layer and it would be super, super full coverage. I mean, this is pretty. This, this is like medium to full. And I've just got, no, I haven't. I've just got foundation on my white shirt. <laughs> so this is all done now. I've got really dark like veins here. And I was gonna try color correct, but it kind of scares me a little. So we'll see. So that's the foundation done. So for concealer, I've got quite a few drugstores that foundation that I like, but my one of my ultimate favourite ones is the um this I mean it's all rubbed off. The lasting perfection concealer from um collection. So this is in shade two, and I've also this is called medium two, and this is fair one. So I go in normally with two. I don't know if there is much in there, so I might have to like improvise. This is actually not as light as I wanted it to be. So a bit of that. I'm just kind of scraping it. And I might go in a little tiny bit with the fair, just to kind of mix it in and brighten up a little bit. And then with the end that I've not used, I'm gonna go in with this one. This one's really good for this because it's got point. This is a real techniques. I'm not really sure what it's called, but it's really nice. And I like it for, um, Especially for here, because you can get right in the corner of your eye. I mean, how dark are my eyelids? Like, I haven't got anything on them. They're just so, 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 so dark. I don't know what I do. I'm just going to go in with the excess on my lid just to set them. Just to kind of prime them, not set them. I typically don't really use eyeshadow primers. I tend to just mainly do... Um, concealer to be honest but I really want to get the P. Louise base because I've heard amazing things about it so I'm quite happy with that I might need a bit more coverage so I might go in a little bit more with my revolution concealer I kind of had to go on a little hunt because this is really dark what's my colour is this C8 I've also got C7 so I might go in with a bit of C7 the C7 is nearly gone so I might go in with that back blue that end again and just pat that in. Two, I have got some powders. I'm not a fan, if I'm honest, of these sort of powders anyway. This MUA one is just literally so thin, so white. This is the Makeup Revolution uh, Bake and Finish. So I'm just gonna do a bit of baking with this because this, you kind of have to bake with it. So I'm just gonna go in with the edge of that one and then just pop that like that, it is fairly white. But I don't put a lot in, just because it is that white. And that's just to set this in place. I quite like that powder, it's not, um, it's not amazing, but it's okay. And then I'm gonna go into my eyes now. I've got quite a few of Makeup Revolution palettes, so I've got this nude one that I've never used before. It's so pretty, I'll show you without the light. Oh, it's actually still sealed, hang on. So I've got this one here, which is very pretty. 
um, but, um, oh I've got the Soph X palette, which is the Extra Spice one, which I absolutely love, so I might go into this one, I've not used this one in ages, and this was like a favourite of mine, like at the end of last year, really really like it, such a nice, such nice colours, my makeup brush is already cleaning, again, I mean, I'm not really going anywhere today, so I kind of don't want to do anything too heavy. I just kind of thought, because I've been doing loads of makeup videos with kind of higher end products, so I thought it'd be nice to do a video with like, you know, not such higher end products. So I'm first just going to go in with, this is like a fluffy brush, just so, oh my hair is really bad today, I'm so sorry. Um, so I might go in with cookie dough there which is like a nice um transition shade and i'm just going to pop that on my crease and kind of just blend that upwards so i'm not going to do anything like too too fancy but i just kind of wanted to film today and just do a look using just um create something using just a drugstore drugstore products And then again on this side, the same thing. And I can't, because I have quite a big area between like my crease and my brow bone. I kind of like to blend it upwards so it's almost at my brow bone where it gets a bit white there, just to make it a bit more transition-y. And then I might go in with the chocolate orange, which is that one there. Just kind of like a really nice warm brown. And I'm gonna take that on like a smaller brush like this one. I'm just gonna clean it off. So it's a bit more dense and this will just go again in the crease but a bit more precise like in my art in my outer corner and then I'll blend it into my crease as well so kind of like in my outer V so what's everyone up to this week I am busy doing house stuff I've got to sort out the kids clothes and stuff so very exciting things going on in the red world household today or well, not today, this week. We kind of moved in a couple of months ago and with Christmas and everything being so close to our moving day, we moved in end of November. So we haven't kind of, my dad did this room for me really quickly because I work from home, so I needed my office to be done. And I kind of turned my office into like my beauty area slash office. So with that brush again, I'm just gonna blend it all in. And yeah, so because of that, we've kind of been oh we'll do it soon we'll do it soon so we kind of got to the stage now we kind of need to do it <laughs> where we need to like sort things out we still have next door to mine so this is the garage which has been converted into my beauty room um next door is still oh what's going on there next door is still um half built so it's got plaster and everything on the walls but it hasn't got anything else so we're still trying to um my dad's going to finish it off soon but it's full of boxes so darren needs to do the loft because the loft hasn't got any flooring, so I need to put flooring down on the loft, so then we can then move the boxes, go through the boxes, make sure we don't need them, and then put them back in the loft. To be fair, we've been living here for three months, we've not needed anything in there, so <laughs> I'm guessing we don't need it. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how that goes. And then I'm going to go in, I think, um, a bit of cheesecake, which is again a bit of a warmer kind of I don't know how to describe this colour it's kind of like a like a very very warm brown yeah that's the best way to describe it um and it's a really nice colour so I might just go in with that same brush again that I was just using I'm not even going to clean I'm just going to go straight in there again in the in my outer V and then up into my crease as well and the same on this eye So yeah, so I'm just going to organise the kids' clothes this week, that's my aim. Um, go for their wardrobes, they're growing up, so a lot of their clothes that we still have for them don't fit them and stuff, so I need to just go through them, sort them out, so I'm going to give them to anybody, or whether I'm just going to give them to charity, and then do that and get that done. So back with this brush, I'm just going to blend it all in again, so it's all nicely blended. And yeah, so that's kind of my plan for this week. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do a lot of um, filming and stuff. So I'm going to try and film as and when I can. So I thought I've got like an hour spare now. So I'm going to try and film something now. Um, and that's it. So I would probably normally go in with a bit of a crease. Do I have to do a crease cut? Cut crease, crease cut, cut crease. Not crease cut. 
I'm talking about. I might do a little bit of a crease cut there. And then, where's my crease cut brush? This one. So I'm just gonna kind of do this. So I'm not gonna do, I'm just gonna do like half a crease. So this is kind of like, um, I'm not really sure what to call this, if it's like my favorite drugstore products or just my drugstore products in general. Not really sure what to call it. So I'm just gonna go in then with Dreams, which is this shade here. It's kind of like a shimmery, goldy kind of color. It's really, really pretty. So it's kind of like, yeah, it's just a nice shimmery color. Nothing much you can say about that really. And then with a flat brush like this one, I'm just gonna pick up some of it. Now this palette is so good. I think it cost me 10 pound. Um, I got it from Superdrug, but you can get it from the Makeup Revolution website. Um, but I really, really, really like it. It's just, I mean, that's this is not wet, and this is not with anything. This is just with a brush. A lot of times, shimmers, you have to use your fingers or you have to wet them. But with this palette, like, this isn't, it's just amazing. I really, really like it. And because I've had a few new ones for Christmas, I kind of just tossed this one aside. I've not really used it for like the last few weeks, just because I've been using other ones. I've been trying out the Urban Decay Naked Cherry, which I got for Christmas, and the Born to Run, which I got for Christmas as well. Um, but yeah, so just before Christmas, before we moved, this was like my go-to palette, because I'd packed everything up, and I'd left this one out because I just loved it so much. So that's how much, that's how you know that, you know, a palette is really good when you pack everything else up because you're moving house, but you leave this one. <laughs> so it is very good. So. I'm just gonna go back into that cheesecake shade there and just kind of go in, like, just to blend the shimmer with the outer V. And then I might go in with a little bit of the shimmer as well, just to blend that out. Mm. I quite like that. And I'm just gonna go back in with that cheesecake again, just a little bit more in my like outer V going up to my crease just to kind of define that a little bit more again. I'm actually going in with this shade here, which is called an everyday shade, which is like another shimmery, kind of almost champagne-y looking one. With my finger, I'm just gonna pop that in the middle there just to kind of blend that in a bit more. I'm just not liking with the like how it's looking. Yeah, I prefer that. Okay, that's much better. Okay, so I think that's the eyes done. And then I'm just gonna go on to the face now. So for contouring, I have, a lot of the products I have a Makeup Revolution, to be fair. I've got this palette here, which is just like a contour palette. I'm just gonna go in with this kind of cool shape here and contour. Now the rest of my face, I don't set it with the Maybelline Superstay because it's very, very matte. So, if I was going out all day, then I would probably set it just for the longe just to increase the longevity. Longer I can't say that word. Longevity, longevity of it, the length of it, so to make it last longer. But as I'm not, I'm just gonna go to the school run and then come back home. I will not do that. And then I've got this new makeup um, revolution again highlighter. Which I do really, I've not tried this one actually. It's a three palette. Oh, I'm sorry, just come out. It's got three shades. You can't really see them because of the light. Oh, there you go. So it's got three shades. It's got like a. Let me just wipe my hand so I can swatch them. So it is new. I bought it a few weeks ago. Um, I'm just going to wipe my hands dry. Um, but yeah, I really like it. Oh, I really like it. I've not used it yet, so I don't know if I like it. Um, while my dry, my hands just dry, I'm just going to go in underneath my eye. So three highlighters. There's like a goldy, goldy one, a kind of more um, pinky one, and then a lilac one. I'm not really keen on like the, oh, they're very like pigmented there, look at that. So I might go with the gold one, I'm not really a pinky or a purpley one. So let me just get my fan brush. I'm just gonna pick that up on a fan brush and then It's very pretty, it's very subtle actually. I 
this colour when I'm tanned will be amazing. It's quite dark for now, to be honest. It's quite, um, it's very, very yellow, like goldy kind of colour. But for when I'm tanned, it'll be really nice. And for, oh, I could have used this one, actually. See, I got this, and I don't really rate it. This is the Sleek, um sleek highlighting palette and I don't really rate I'm gonna use a bit of a gold here oh, actually, actually look at that <laughs> I don't really like it but actually on top of this whoa look at that okay so I'm just gonna blend this in a little bit because my contour's a bit out there okay and what about bronzer? So I've got a couple of bronzers. I've got this one, which is like really, really, really old. Like really, really old. I don't even think it still works. I'm just gonna see if that warms up my cheeks a little bit. That highlight actually, whoa, it's really nice. Jesus. Okay, so that wasn't what I was expecting. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of eyeliner on. For drugstore, I like the regular Revolution one. Um, I prefer that one the most to be fair so that's what I like doing I'm just gonna pop that one in I'm just gonna pop my eyeliner on I'll be back be right back so for mascara I'm gonna use my no surprise here essence um princess essence princess lash mascara I think this is the false lash effect this is an amazing mascara it is starting to get a bit dry now so I do need to like repurchase it but it's so good um, my hair is getting frizzier and frizzier as this video is continuing. <laughs> Mascara and eyeliner on. I'm going to go in with this. Um, this is from Essence as well. This is their long lasting eye pencil. This is in gold. Um, and I'm just going to put a little bit on my waterline. These eye pencils are really, really nice. They're really, really affordable as well. So I'm just going to go in with my um, sleek highlighter again. In my inner corner just because I'm not feeling how inner corner it is so I'm gonna put that in mm, okay and then I might do my brow bone as well with a little bit of a thicker brush I'm just gonna go in with a bit of this oh this is far too much okay far far too much it's not it's not yellow enough maybe the makeup revolution one will be a bit yellower now, from drugstore, I always use the same brow products, really. And I really like the NYX um, eyebrow gel. This is a bit too much for, like, me every day. So I'll go in with an oldie but a goodie. This is the Rimmel Brow This Way. And it's that old that the writing's come off the front. But I really like the wax and stuff on it. So I'm just going to go in and fill my brows in quickly, and then I'll be back. But that's the brows done so I think I'm just gonna do the lips so lipstick wise I've got a few um, like matte liquid lipsticks and stuff um, I, this is a makeup revolution I don't really rate makeup revolution liquid lipsticks they're not my favorite but I do however like the Soph X um, actual lipsticks so my favorite is a syrup which is this one here so it's kind of like a brown, My all my lipsticks from this have like broken, this is broken completely off. I'm not sure if it's because of me. Go in with a little bit of fudge, which again has broken. Um, but this is like a more deeper brown. So I don't think I can zoom you in, but I quite like the finished look. It's nice. My under eyes, to be honest, could be a bit brighter. I'm not going to lie there. Um, have I got like a brightening powder in here? Kind of a yellowy powder. Let's try that. I'm just gonna try a little bit of this yellowy powder here just to see if it brightens up my under eyes a little bit. So I just feel a bit like, whoa. If I lower the light, you can't really see, and it looks really, really strong. It's not as bad in real life as it is on camera. So it's not as bad in real life as it is on camera. It's not that sharp, and it doesn't look as muddy as it does on there. It does actually look quite nice. Uh, let me just try and. Oh, and lastly, um, some setting spray. 
which I have Makeup Revolution. This is an amazing fixing spray. Shake it up. Just totally remembered that I forgot to put blush on. So I'll just quickly come on just to add. This is the White and Wild, White and Wild um, Color Icon Ombre Blush. I'm just gonna pop some of this on with this brush. This is just a multitask brush. So I'm just gonna go with a bit of this. So yes, this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoy this um, video. It's just something um, quick and easy um, using only drugstore makeup. I just really, um, I've been using a lot of higher end stuff recently. So I thought I'd just do a, go back to my, to my roots because I started mainly with drugstore makeup and some of it is still pretty amazing. I mean, these, this eyeshadow, it's, it's incredible. So I really, really like that. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the channel and uh, the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.